We rediscovered flavors in a landscape that we thought were impossible in our corner of Europe. This was the revelation. It fueled our creativity, and it also drove us to become the ones we are, the reason why I am here today. We have so many examples of these great surprises. One time on a shitty beach, walking in seaweed, flies everywhere, you break off a piece of grass, it snaps like a watermelon, you chew into it, and it tastes like cilantro or coriander. For me, that was one of these Mexican or Thai things. Or the first time you actually eat a tiny little six-legged ant and you bite into it and it tastes like lemon. We spent the last almost four years at MAD working on a program that we call Vilmel, or wild food. The basic premises is very simple. It started as a crazy idea. We should teach every child to be a forager. Everyone should be a forager. We believe that one of the biggest problems with the food systems around the world is the lack of the values. Values that overlook the lands and the hands that provide what we eat. There are no recipes for building a new value system or value systems. But we think one of the building blocks is starting with children, starting with ourselves to connect ourselves to where our food is from. There's a big missing link here. How it gets to our plates. Mad's ambition, of course, is that Vilmel will serve as a model in Denmark, but we hope that it inspires for others, for you guys to do the same. And just imagine, I mean, I know it's a crazy thought, but it's not that crazy still to imagine what if all of our children grew up having math, learning to read and write, but also stepping into nature as a part of natural sciences, eating, tasting, smelling. How would the future look like then? Thank you very much.